camera shut off randomly for no reason. Um, so we're doing it another day. Welcome to another video. I don't remember what day it is. Sunday the 23rd? Maybe, I don't know. Yes. Whatever. 23rd. So, I think where we left off, maybe, is if you knew that you had one year... Wait, that in one year you would die suddenly, would you change anything about the way you're living now? Of course. Yeah. I knew I was just going to like randomly drop dead 365 days from now. My five-year plan would be nothing. So. Yeah. Do what I want to do. Yep. Whatever I wanted. F some people up. Sorry. I don't know that I would do that. I would. Some people need it. And they'd get it, too. What does friendship mean to you? I think it's a dumb question. Because <laughs> it's too broad. We talked about that yeah. during the last time. Because friendship means different things with different friends. Mm -hmm. I think. You know, the different types of friendships I have with different people don't necessarily mean one's less than the other. They're just different. I guess for me, it's a kind of a loyalty thing and common interests. I don't know. Yeah, loyalty, common interests, communication. Yeah. That's good friendship. Communication. What roles do love and affection play in your life? What? What ro <laughs> uh, Yeah, I... <laughs> I don't know. What roles? What does that mean? I don't know. Excuse me. What roles? Does it mean like what? How important is it? I'd say it's very important. Mm hmm For me. Me too. But not with very many people, pretty much just with you. I don't care about anybody else. We can share love and affection with other people as That's long true. as it's not romantic. Or taking the place of something that we should have. Yeah. Affection carries a very significant okay. uh, connotation. For you. I think. Okay. It doesn't necessarily It doesn't me. necessarily mean that. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't yeah. for me. Because I, I, there's a lot of people I hug and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Not me. I don't like touching people. Alternate sharing something you consider a positive characteristic of your partner. Share a total of five items. Oh, we take turns. Yay, I like this. Um, I think you're hilarious. <laughs> I'll save that one for you for later. <laughs> <laughs> um... One thing that I, I know it's like probably, you know, a plus and minus in the big picture, but I really, really like your work dedication, like with your jewelry. You're just working on it all the time. That's obsession. <laughs> that, but see, that's what I was saying. It could be, you know, yeah. I guess a plus and a negative in the big picture, but... I wish I could be more obsessive about what I'm doing, so I admire that in you. I'm glad you're not. Yeah, but I, I need to be right now, and I'm not. Uh, I like that. Oh, that stuff, that's not about you. That's about us. I was going to say similar interests, but that's not about you.
I like that you are willing to change your mind. You're open to changing your mind. Okay. Hmm. What? No, that's, just, that's interesting. I mean, if you have an opinion, but if you were shown evidence, you're not adamant, no, your way is the right way no matter what. You're willing to even accept that there could be another way. Right. Um... I'm trying to think how to say what I'm thinking. So, like, I've been through a lot in the last few years. I think you've been real, real supportive. And I really appreciate that. I love you. Love you too. Yay. Was that two or three? That's two for me, two for you. Okay. Um, How do we know the thing's still recording, by the way? That the thing is sticking out? <laughs> okay. When it sucks back in, that means it's not. Okay. <laughs> That's why I stare at it a lot. <laughs> but it doesn't, su it sucks in silently. It doesn't yeah, go, re it just <laughs> sneaks we didn't in. Notice last time. Um, you're smart. I like it. It's hot. <laughs> Um, I know. Cats are ridiculous. I know, that's a common interest though, so we were saying we can't really I'm not saying those. you can't. I'm just saying. But your 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 interest in love of animals. That's what I was gonna say. <laughs> it's a big one because that's like that's a deal breaker in other relationships I've had. Or it's Mine been too. a deal breaker. Yeah. Mine for too. the other person. Mine too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the fact that we have. You know, all sorts of creatures and stuff. Yeah. I agree. Okay. You got a pretty mouth. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. That's not why I'm just playing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was not hilarious. Whatever. <laughs> You're not hilarious. But you are hilarious. So it's three and three. We've done three? Yeah. Oh. Your turn. I know, I'm thinking. Oh. All right, I have one. I really like your sarcasm. <laughs> <laughs> your sense of sarcasm. Why? Because, well, it goes with being hilarious. I think it's hilarious. <laughs> Good. I like that you want to learn things, not that just that you have the ability to, which is nice, but you want to. Yep. And I really like your palate and your ability to cook, <laughs> <laughs> and that we share least similar palettes. We like a lot of the same food. Yeah. So that's five for me. I know. I love that even though you're kind of an asshole sometimes, you're also really sweet and kind. And a nice person. <laughs> What? <laughs> that, was, that was 
thinking back on him. Like the first time you saw me go full asshole. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that too. On <laughs> somebody else. Word, peoples. Who? Peoples. That's the last word of that. Oh. Is that the next one? Mm-hmm. How close and warm is your family? Do you feel your childhood was happier than most people's? Well, growing up, I just don't knock over the camera. I don't think growing up my family was very affectionate. In fact, I don't really think they were very warm. Mine either. Um, it's still weird for us to say I love you to one another. Let's see that. And hug. That's a, at some point that changed, and I don't know how or why. It's didn't for us. It's still weird. I don't think my childhood was happier than most people. Although I'm not. I don't either. <laughs> I don't think it was like incredibly tragic either or anything. Yeah, but. I'm not going to be the movie of the week, but. <laughs> For any reason, for bad or good, but but it's like not you know, good. like kind of goes along with you know growing up pretty poor. Like I didn't really know, you know what I mean? Like I I, I had a an intellectual sense of what money and stuff was, but like it didn't seem to make much difference to me that I wasn't rich when I was a kid, or my family wasn't rich. It didn't to me until, like, high school. Because I wasn't able to do some of the things that the other kids could were doing. Sure. Yeah, I see what you're saying. I was into really different stuff than the other kids, though, so... I was, but I wanted to be into the other things, too. Mm -hmm. I mean, I wanted to be included. I didn't have enough money, so... That's fun! Thanks for that, whoever! I don't remember. Cosmo, maybe? How do you feel about your relationship with your mother? Um, it could probably be better. She frustrates me. Um, I'm sure I frustrate her. Because we're different people. But it's fine. It's better than some I've heard about that my friends describe. They're related. My, I'm okay with my relationship with my mom. Could it be better? Yes. But most relationships could be better. Right. I think mine's pretty good. Um, I don't know that she would have any complaints. I wish... I could consistently check in on her more and communicate more, talk to her more, but I let time slip by between talking to her. Me too. At least my mom texts, so. Yeah. And gets on Facebook. That's probably, uh, we've communicated more in the past two years because she's on Facebook and I don't use other forms of communication, which I accept is on me. Excuse me. I don't understand this one. <laughs> Make three true we statements each. For instance, we are both in this room feeling blank. I don't know what they want. How about we enjoy keeping animals? Yeah, I agree. We both. Actually, I'm not going to do a we both. I'm going to do a true we statement. We have very different political views. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's very true. Yeah. But not completely. There's a lot of Enough that we have some frustration. Yeah. Right now during that 
election. Yeah. But normally we're pretty on the same page, I think. Fairly. It's not every <laughs> election that Trump's up for freaking nomination. Or Hillary. God. Anyway. <clears throat> That's our major division. Yeah. Who's who's the biggest monster, basically? Yep. Um, I think we've evolved. Some of our interests have evolved to be similar to each other. Like you got in, like deeper into being in medical. Oh yeah. And I got way deeper into like craftsmanship. Yeah. So we've kind of like. <laughs> we did this and then this. Sort of, yeah. We both like snacks and experimenting with new snacks. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not having very many exciting snacks right now. You know. Could you hear it? <laughs> or quail call? Okay, wait. I don't even know if that's three or, or what. I said... Different political Politics. views. Oh, that was three for me. Was it three for you? I don't know. What were your other two? Politics. Oh, did I just piggyback off of yours? Oh, politics, snacks, and something else. <laughs> I don't even know where it was at. I think I only got two. Okay. Um, we both really like traveling we both really like the idea of traveling more than traveling traveling itself yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah i just want to be at my house but i want to be able to go other places on a day trip yeah pretty much whereas i actually like exploring a lot more i think i just want my internet and my pets if we could bring those with us, I might be okay. So, what you wanna do? Make believe.